<laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> this is MDog. Uh, this is actually just a quick little video about if you have the Minnow Lake Daily here at um, the Finland map, it actually seems to be quite easy. Uh, and I will show you how we're approaching it. And there we go. We just finished the daily. And that's big. I mean, with how easy that is, that gave us a, uh, a nice pile of silver as well as, um, as well as a nice chunk of experience as, uh, also. So the uh, only thing I haven't figured out yet, and we'll just spend a second here looking at this is if they will buy it on the float. Um, but in terms of how we are catching them, the easiest thing to do is just put a zero hook with grain. And it seems like they are everywhere. I mean, I don't know that for a fact. Uh, but here close to the shore, it's been uh, a very healthy bite rate. We finish that daily very quickly. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we can turn these into bait fish. Which I'm assuming that lake minnows are not worth a ton of silver the large ones are not worth any silver basically so any that you can turn to bait fish you're better off turning turning them into bait fish even if that means you then turn around and sell them on the auction house one thing we could try here is the depth uh this is in a very deep area let's try 0.70 see if that is yeah that's actually okay all right so let's just double check make sure they're not biting off of that all right so let's get some bait fish going here i'm not sure there might be better you know there might be spots to grind out bait fish that are you know faster bite rate than this um but man to be able to do that while at the same time doing a um a pretty lucrative later level map daily was pretty sweet so um yeah it seems to me that feeder might just be the way to go i've had that float out for a little while now and i just haven't seen a bite um and the feeders are, are also the only thing that gives me pause about it is how basically inconsistent the bite rate is you know sometimes it'll be like this where it just goes off immediately and then sometimes it feels like a while goes by with no bites all right so this one was up closer to the shore there maybe we're on to something with that i could see them being easier to catch closer to the shore I would be willing to bet that, you know, if you get the depth right in the right spot, that you could catch these on float as well. Um, but I'm not sure why you would necessarily need to do that. They're so good on, on, they're so good on feeder that it just seems like that's unnecessary. Did we get another bait fish? Yes. Um, And it is helpful to use picker rods. I mean, these are very light bites you're getting on the uh, on the uh, minnow lakes. So it makes sense to use picker rods if you have them. The other thing that we could be seeing is we're getting into like late afternoon, evening. It might be their bite rate just slows down. I just thought that the data, I mean, earlier when we first, when I was first doing this and what did we need? Like 336 grams of uh, Lake Minnow. So a Minnow Lake. So um, 
I mean, it just happened so quick. But yeah, now it does seem to be a little slower. Maybe the sort of thing you just want to have um, I mean there may be some benefit in yeah zero hook grain we're really not using any ground bait or anything like that so we can put a light little weight on here Let's see what's the small shortest cast we can do here sort of right in front of us near the dock see what that does um, yeah, if you're not getting a bite, it might be one of those things where it's worth recasting. A lot of the fish I would catch seem to be like soon after I put the feeder in. But I kind of think the lesson we're learning here might be do it during the daytime. hoping we get one more for you but it might just be too late but anyway again grain zero hooks these are tiny little fish obviously perhaps daytime it says social it's a really small carp species that's so interesting And we are in this May event, but we still haven't gotten a third hero star. I'm hoping it'll come soon. Well, I wanted to do this video mostly just because I don't know how often the same daily orders come up, but in case this, uh, in case the Minnow Lake daily comes up again, this should get it for you again. Probably earlier in the day is better. Uh, at least it seemed to be for me, as the bite rate has completely, maybe not completely, mostly died off. Um, and just right here, there's a nice little one. Just right here, kind of near where you spawn at this dock area is where I've been fishing for them. And the best part of it is, not only can you get the daily done, but you can also... Um, if the, when they're the right size, you can get the bait fish pretty easily as well. So kind of two birds with one stone there. I actually think yeah, it was a little further out, wasn't it? Um, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this will be helpful if you do get the Minnow Lake daily, uh, or if you're trying to catch some bait fish before going to catch some, uh, burbot or whatever else. here at the um, Finland map um, let me know how you're doing with your uh, fishing I will I will be transitioning back to more RF4 videos but it has been fun to just kind of like focus in on Fisher Online as we're waiting for more updates on when the new contents coming out in RF4 I have quite enjoyed myself. I think we're going to continue with some of the um, Fisher Online videos moving forward uh, in the next day or two because we still have a couple of maps that we haven't sort of focused on yet. And um, I'm also slowly getting around towards level 30, which will unlock a new map for me as well. 
Thanks for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you next time.